You guys can stop singing now. It's it's getting annoying. Can't they do like a spring clean or something? Or maybe they have to be energized to be able to do like a super clean. Whoa, Judith, put some clothes on. Hey, it's the Dice and welcome back to some more Growing Together. In the last episode, we had Miracle make a little choir club. So she has a club full of children where they like do musical activities. Since Miracle's really into music, one thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the violin activity just because it hurts my ears. None of these kids are good at violin, so when they do it, it's a mess. Currently, the parents are working on the treehouse. Julia's super tired. Oh yeah, I added Wonderful Whims back into my game. I took it out for a little bit just because um I don't know I just wanted it out of my game for a little bit now I've got it back in so we do have like attractiveness again Judith is also staying over for a couple of days she's currently sleeping on the couch because she does have a bedroom and it's 11 p.m I'm actually gonna end the gathering here so everyone can go home are you stuck you might be stuck there. And where did your chair go? I swear, anytime I leave this lot, it just gets rid of everything on Miracle's desk. It's so annoying. Oh my gosh, the treehouse is done. Miracle, look, you've got a whole treehouse now. You're so lucky. Julia's gone to sit up there and just chill, which is sweet. This is so cool. You could sleep in there, but you do have a bed, so go to bed. You actually don't have work tomorrow, which kind of sucks. I do want her to get a promotion, but that's fine. We've got stuff we've got to work on anyway. What are you doing? You want to go talk to your dead dad? Oh, Arthur is here. Well, that's nice, but we've got to focus on ourselves. So go and there's no food in the fridge. Okay, you just go and have a quick meal and then go to bed. We are working on our servo. I think we might be able to get the servo done in this episode, which is very exciting. The twins are toddlers and are oh, you're really upset from being lectured okay you're also a little hungry we're just gonna feed you in the morning both of you just go to bed okay everyone is asleep but judith <laughs> but that's fine we actually are gonna need breakfast for today so why don't you wake up and serve um what should we serve let's serve some pancakes oh since the treehouse is done one thing i want to test out for the choir club is if we can get a bunch of mics up here oh we can't put them up there no <laughs> that would have been so cool you know what it's fine i just want a few mics that i'll just put out where should i put it I'll just put it in the garden so the kids can practice singing. How many of us are there? There are six. Okay, I bought five mics. So one, so one person's gonna have to watch. So yeah, when I start up the club, maybe they can sing here. I didn't know kids could use the microphones, but they apparently can. So we're gonna test that out. Now you, did you just give up on making food? Bro, get that started. I know you wanna clean the kitchen, but um, we're gonna have to do that another time. Oh, you're neat. Oh, that's probably irking you so much. Maybe we can do like a, uh, what's it called? That neat sims can do. Can't they do like a spring clean or something? Or maybe they have to be energized to be able to do like a super clean. Whoa, Judith, put some clothes on. Oh, we're cooking together. No way, Judith wanted to join us cooking. She's actually so cute. All right, the pancakes are ready. We are going to um, put them on the center of the table so the toddlers can come and get some food. Oh my gosh, Judith, why are you being so mean? And she took some of our pancakes. What the heck? She's probably like, this is not healthy. You should not feed the kids such unhealthy meals. But she's gonna take a serving anyway. Yeah, she's so mad that we made pancakes for breakfast. Let's try and like, I don't know, make it less awkward. Because Judith is actually our best friend. Yeah, apparently we did something wrong. So we're gonna do a smooth apology. We do not wanna be on Judith Ward's bad side. Oh my gosh, you guys are like miserable. You stink. We're gonna have to give you a bath. Julia, why don't you wake up and sort yourself out quickly? You're also awake. Look at this cute family breakfast. Oh my gosh, what's happening? Are you being mean to Miracle as well? Probably telling her you should not be eating pancakes for breakfast. I know I'm eating pancakes for breakfast, but you shouldn't be doing it. Oh, we've got to make a loan payment, which we can definitely do. We'll do another thousand 
And Julia, do you want to go and bathe? Um, who needs a bath? I think it's Faith. Glenn, quickly use the toilet and then we're gonna get started on our daily mechanism slash computer chips grind. We are actually almost done with this. Oh my gosh, miracle. Where's my attention? Pay attention to me. Oh my gosh, she's such a little like attention seeker. But I get it. You know, the parents have to spend a lot of time with the twins. Is Judith cleaning the toilet? What the heck? <laughs> That's so random. But yeah, we do have to spend a lot of time with the twins. Maybe we should have like a miracle day. I don't know. Maybe like take her to the rec center or something. That could be nice. Judith, stop it. Oh my gosh, this grown woman. She's so, she's so extra. Is it because of the pancakes? In my view, because of the pancakes. And now you've got all the kids crying. Just making life harder for us. Once you're done fixing that, we're gonna do a bunch of trolling the forums online. We're still trying to up our um our mischief skill. And Miracle, let's- Oh, you're gonna go hang out with your dad. That's so cute. But let's start up the club. Well, actually, why don't you start off by doing some piano? We haven't even gotten the piano skill yet, so... Go and play some piano that's in your room. Imagine having a whole piano in your room. So you get started on that while everyone else... Oh my gosh, look at them! <laughs> this is so cute. They're all gonna come here and do some singing. It won't be in time, so it sounds terrible. But this is adorable. <laughs> Look at all of them singing. This is super cute to watch, but super painful to, to listen to. It's like a little band. I'm gonna slowly back away though. Look at Glenn like looking at them like, damn, this is my life. You need to continue making- oh, we don't have any robot salvage parts. Okay, well, let's do some ordering. A bunch more of these. Miracle, look at the club you've created. Def I, yeah, Miracle's defo the leader. And then once you guys have finished with practice, we can do some playing on the treehouse. Or you know what I might do? I might put like a central mic at the front like over here which is like miracle being the star she's the center and the other five are her backup singers so once you get to level two of the piano skill which you did so quick then i'm gonna get you to come out here oh my gosh this is gonna be so cute and judith is out here listening i actually need bands in this game that would be so much fun i wouldn't be surprised if judith knew like an agency or something okay you've been zapped um how, how are the toddlers doing are they Okay, you guys need some sleep. Why don't you do some potty training? That would be good. Potty train faith. This is definitely something that will be remembered. Oh my gosh, we should totally take a picture of this. You get out here and whip out the camera. This is one of those memories that you never forget. Uh, all of their eyes are closed. <laughs> All of their eyes are closed. And look how tall these mic stands are. Couldn't someone lower it for them? Okay, I'm just gonna take a few photos. It's still cute. And it's still like a memory that we'll cherish for a long time. Oh, she really wants to swipe an item. Maybe we should go to like a rec center and like do some stealing. But I'm gonna get you to go back onto your trolling of the forums. You are potty training and you can... Let me see, what's your singing skill? You're level two. You can stop singing and all of you can come up here and play pretend. Play house? Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, you can only do it with one other person? No, I wanna do it with like everyone. Well, that sucks. Maybe we should put up some decorations. We'll do fairy tale castle decorations. How cute. And we can only play house with one person. Well, this is uh, Shane, super cute. Oh, he's eating an imaginary ice cream. Oh wait, is this one of those things when you click off the child, it all disappears? Oh, it is. Oh, I've always loved that like little detail. Oh, what was that, Buster Dust Kit? You know what? Let's do the slumber party today. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna see if we can get some sleeping bags. I don't know if they're all gonna fit on the tree house. These ones are for toddlers and these ones for everyone else. Yeah, they're not gonna fit on the tree house, but we're probably gonna have to do them in our little garden or maybe just out the front because we do not have space in our living room. All right, we're just gonna do a sleepover in our little driveway. Oh wait, will they bring their own sleeping bags? They probably will, right? Just in case, I'm gonna put some sleeping bags out here. There are, what, six of us? Yeah, just just on the driveway. Maybe, what else did you do at a sleepover? I guess you would, like, roast marshmallows and stuff at a fireplace? Okay, so we can roast some marshmallows, hopefully. Um, do we have a- t we don't have a TV to watch, like, a movie. Maybe if I do a little bit of rearranging... 
and put this over here and then move the playhouse there and then if I just put like a TV on the wall yes the dining table is in the way but it's fine like that's just a small little detail Put like a flat screen on the wall just like that it's kind of high but I Mm, should I just put it there? I'll put it there. And then get some little pillows for people to sit on. I don't know if anyone's going to be able to move around. We'll see. I might have to get us a smaller door. I love, I love this door, but we need to be able to move around in this house. So a smaller door will just be wiser. That should be fine, right? Hopefully. I hope I have enough activities for the sleepover. What, who, who else do you do at sleepover? Oh, popcorn. Should have got a popcorn machine. Now it's currently 5 p.m. I'm gonna end the gathering and start the sleepover. I don't know how long the event is. Oh wait, you can't plan it, can you? I'm gonna have to get like your parent to plan it. Okay, let's just do it through the calendar. So we're gonna plan an event. It is going to be a slumber party and it's gonna be gold. Oh, look how cute that looks. The host is gonna be Miracle and the guests, everyone in the club. Um, we haven't introduced ourselves. We should probably like say hi and get to know our daughter's friends. So we've got Vanessa Green, we've got Shane Hamilton, Noah Westmore, Melanie Benson, um, Jade Purdue. I think that's everyone in the club. And then we're gonna do it here right now and the slumber party has started okay you are not dazed anymore so go resume your computer chip and who's watching tv you guys can stop singing now it's it's getting annoying now we've got to have sims chatty at the same time have sims play games and have sims eat at the same time we cannot light the fire but we can easily get one of our parents to do that glenn go and light that and why don't you well let's order a pizza yeah this is a slumber party let's have a pizza i don't know if any of the kids are vegetarian so we're gonna get a sweet corn pizza oh and the fireplace has been lit you can leave and not sit on the seat so the kids can sit there. <gasps> Get slumber party snacks. What is this? Oh my gosh, we could have just got a pizza from here. <laughs> I didn't have to order it. Ask guests to set up sleeping bags so they were gonna have their sleeping bags and time for bed. Okay, we didn't have to buy all these sleeping bags. I'm gonna just quickly delete them. Hopefully when I tell them to set up their sleeping bags, they'll put them out here. Now we're gonna invite everyone. Oh, we can roast stuff. Okay, let's invite everyone to hang out. Everyone doing the sleepover. Okay, they stopped singing. They were singing all day. I don't know how their throats aren't aching. Oh, look at that sunset. Wow, that's gorgeous. Let's maybe tell a group story. Oh, we need to dance to music. I We do have that like mini speaker. I can always bring that outside. Oh wait, I can't move it in build mode. Okay, we're gonna have to dance inside. Well, this is nice. Look at all of our friends. Why are you not telling the story? She's not telling the story. Everyone's just sitting here awkwardly. Um, did our pizza come? Our, our pizza's here, our pizza's here. Mom, can you go get our pizza, please? 27 simoleons. Gonna put it on the table and then I'm gonna get you to come and, uh, can we not call to meal? You know, let's make a group. Form a group with all our friends and this will make things so much easier. Hopefully there are enough seats. We've got sofas, we've got pillows, and we've also got chairs. I don't know if anyone's gonna be able to sit in this seat because of the TV. This is cute. Oh, you're so mad. Don't be mad. There's pizza. How can you be mad when there's pizza? What are we watching? Oh, where did the TV go? Oh, it's there. Oh, we're watching the, the kids channel. Oh my gosh, Judith, I'm actually gonna like kick you out. Stop ruining the sleepover. Like, come on, look, you got all the kids crying. Stop it. I haven't even been paying attention to the toddlers. Like, hopefully they're okay. I'm gonna get the pancakes out. Oh, there's no more pancakes. Okay, toddlers, can you get pizza? I don't know if you, you can like eat her. Hopefully you can. Look at all the kids crying, Judith. I swear, Judith is such a party pooper. She can be the worst <laughs> sometimes. Well, now that everyone's eaten, let's dance to music. I'm gonna turn this off. Let's put on some kids radio and get lit. Do a little dance competition. Miracle can not only sing, but she can also dance. Why are you picking her up? She's about to eat like food. Are you gonna feed her? Okay, as long as you're looking after her. Why is this not counting as dancing to music? Oh no, you're starting to stink. Quickly go and take a shower before bedtime. Two out of three, not bad. You just left Faith in the high chair. Oh my gosh, even Judith is getting it down. She just wants to hang out with the kids. 
wants to make sure miracles making appropriate friends kids from good families potentially rich families that she can you know associate herself with oh okay judith she's doing the slide into the wall and she's doing it in like super high heels <laughs> she is so talented okay we've danced to music you have bathed why are you making a mess stop it you finished your mechanism we are not done oh we've done all the computer chips all we need to do now is one more mechanism okay and we need to buy a few more robot salvage parts and then we're ready to make the servo <gasps> we're so close guys now back to you and your slumber party we need to play games so uh let's play in the treehouse I can't believe you can only play pretend with one other person. Oh my gosh, Judith is coming. <laughs> Judith is coming to the, the tree house. Is she going to play with us or is she going to go to bed? Because she doesn't have a bed. Yeah, I think she's going into the enclosure and going to sleep. Well, we're playing a game together. We're playing pirate. It is 11 p.m. We should probably go and get some sleep. And why is this not counting as playing games together? Maybe if I cancel it, it will count possibly. Oh, and you finished your mechanism. You really need the toilet and you need some food. Oh, you need a lot of things. You've been working so hard today. Okay, yeah, playing on the treehouse didn't count as playing games. What about chess? Oh, this counted. So why didn't the treehouse count? That is so dumb. Anyway, it's time to get some sleep. So hey, get out of our sleeping bag. We're gonna go here, like near our sleeping bag. And then we're gonna say, ask guests to set up their sleeping bags here and not in the house because there's no space in the house. <gasps> Okay, you guys have got the right idea. Wait, did you set up this one? So I didn't even need to buy a sleeping bag. Okay, cute. So everyone's got their own bags. We need to tell a story. Oh, we can do a pillow fight. <gasps> Hell yeah, let's do a pillow fight with Jada. Oh no, everyone's good to sleep. No, <laughs> no, wake up. We're not done with the sleepover. Everyone rise and shine. Like legit, no one wants to do a pillow fight. Okay, we're just gonna do what the game is asking us. We're gonna try and tell a story again to all of our friends. <gasps> okay, I think it's working. She's sitting cross-legged, which is super cute. I love that like simple interaction. You guys out here, we're really doing a sleepover right next to the main road. <laughs> and we've got this beautiful view to look at. The stars are out. It's a half moon tonight. The vibes are just, the vibes are good. Now you've gone to sleep. No, we've got to do it the, the like right way time for bed so everyone will oh everyone's gonna wake up and then go to bed oh, we've got to make like a really big grand breakfast for everyone that would be nice oh wait where are you why are you sleeping in the tree house you have a bed i think the award is like a um another sleeping bag so that could be cool we could save that sleeping bag for when the twins our children now we're fast forwarding we can't oh why are you getting up you need to pee i think another bathroom would be great actually oh my gosh judith is fixing our sink what has gotten into her i don't even think we asked her to help us around so that's pretty cool of her and the slumber party is over at 6 a.m hopefully they don't leave yet that would be kind of disappointing like <laughs> it's not the mor what is the morning but sleepovers last until like midday the next day and the award is a new sleeping bag so that's pretty cool oh my gosh julia you have work i do want to go into work with you today okay wake up go take a shower oh my gosh everything's broken go take a shower and then do we have any food i don't think we do so we have an empty pizza carton who put this in the fridge you're gonna have to just have some cereal for breakfast all the kids are still sleeping oh my gosh it's already time for work okay we're gonna join i do want to stay home with miracle and her friends but money needs to be made i keep forgetting it's winter because in san sequoia it's so like sunny and warm all the time now you go and buy uh buy a sandwich go and get something to eat because we can't do good work on an empty stomach hopefully someone collapses today That's <laughs> That sounded so crazy, but I do want someone to collapse so we can do some surgery. Now hurry up and eat your breakfast. We have work to do. We do have a lot of kids in here today. A lot. I feel like there's some like child virus going on because there's always kids at the hospital. And it's not just like one, it's like a bunch. Like the majority of our patients are children. Our mistress skill has been improving. We're currently level five. Um, You can't swipe the computer yet. We can swipe this thing. I don't know if that's uh worth a lot. We can swipe the skeleton. Oh, that's pretty cool. You know, we're gonna swipe that. And I, I don't think I want to sell it. I kind of just want to keep it. For our office in the new house, we can definitely put it in there. Oh, that's so cool. OK, 
Okay, we're able to swipe again. Um, what's a thing that's super valuable that we can swipe? We could take the exit sign, sure. Successful once again. Now, no one's needing surgery. I really want to, uh, do some surgery okay we made a lot of money today and no one needed surgery which sucks because then we won't get promoted but hopefully next time oh my gosh viola i didn't see you at work come on in let's be a little bit mischievous to her because you know trying to get that skill up hopefully she takes it well oh and let's check out our little skeleton oh my gosh look how expensive that is and it's an unlockable so cool okay we're definitely gonna keep that and we're gonna sell you our sleeping bags that we earned from our sleepover they're super cute you know i might put this in our bedroom so it scares glenn <laughs> in the middle of the night how's everyone doing you're going to sleep oh yeah your buddies from the sleepover left i hope they had a good time you need to get started on the servo quickly get like a quick meal and then get started craft servo it's time i'm so excited twins you guys are decent why don't you ask your grandma to change your diaper you're also pretty good oh my gosh it's the start look at the legs <laughs> I really, really do want to keep this servo, but I know we can't because servos are worth so much. Don't worry, this will be the first of many, hopefully. Glenn, I'm so proud of you. This is such a big, like, moment. I wonder who he's going to sell the servo to. Probably, like, some government organization or something. Oh my gosh, look at this vampire just casually walking the streets. Oh my gosh, are you coming to our house? I don't think so. Don't you dare try and knock on our door. Get out of here. We're just going to keep being mischievous to Viola because we need our skill. Oh, and Judith's here. She looks proud of us, even though we, we didn't go down the path that she wanted us to she seems like she seems happy for us i appreciate you judith even though you can be so annoying sometimes oh my gosh we're mischief skill level six already we're so close to being level eight and then we can go back to sell dorada and steal that treasure i'm i'm so excited if we're able to steal like every single one i'm not sure how many there are but that's at least like 50k. 50,000 simoleons in our pocket? That's a pretty big deal. When the heck did you max out robotics? I didn't get the pop-up for this, did I? That's amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy for you, Glenn. Glenn is still out here making the servo. Like his needs are pretty good. So he hasn't stopped and it's raining. It's the worst weather for this. Oh my gosh, are you done? Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh. Wait, it only sells for 6,000 simoleons. I thought it was 16. No, we definitely spent more than 6,000 getting all the parts for it. What the heck? That's not worth it. I don't know, guys. Should I keep the servo? If, if I did add the servo to the household, then the servo could contribute money. Servos don't have to eat. Um, They do have to sleep, but they don't sleep for very long. And they could like help us with our money situation. They could become an author or a painter or something i don't know so is it worth selling the servo it's only six thousand simoleons i'm so disappointed i thought it would be worth more you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments below so yeah i'll do whatever you guys decide i'm not sure with that i'm gonna leave this episode here if you guys did enjoy make sure to give the video a like and subscribe if you're new and i will see you guys in the next video